Welcome back to the Connect Show, South Florida on Fox 29. Thank you so much for always joining us. So our next guest is an Enneagram coach uh, that will help you create a plan that works so well that everyone will be talking about it and seeing the results. So please help me welcome my guest, Carissa. Welcome, Carissa. <laughs> Hello. Uh, thank yeah. you for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you. Carissa, you're a certified Enneagram coach and a pastor. How cool is that? First, what is an Enneagram coach for those of us who don't know? Oh, I love this question. So we are essentially, you know, someone who uses the Enneagram primarily as the tool to help people understand themselves with clarity. So we really help them use the Enneagram to understand, okay, what is their Enneagram type and how is that impacting their thoughts? their feelings and their behaviors. And so instead of focusing so much on the behavior characteristics, those are just the symptoms, we wanna help them get to the root cause of what is actually driving their thoughts and their feelings and their behaviors. And so it all centers around a tool called the Enneagram, but it's a lot of personal, spiritual and professional development. But you know, working with you as a coach, what, uh, how long do people typically work with you and how does it look? Ooh, okay, so I designed what I call the Enneagram growth process, mm -hmm. and it's a three-phase approach to personal and spiritual growth. And so the first phase is six weeks, and it's a deep dive into self-awareness because you can't change what you can't see about yourself. Mm -hmm. And so until you know your Enneagram type and you understand the implications of that, uh, you really are gonna feel kind of stuck. Uh, you're gonna keep trying to fix the symptoms, right? The perfectionism, the controlling nature, the people pleasing, the imposter syndrome, all of those are simply symptoms. And the Enneagram is gonna help you identify what's the root cause of those symptoms. There's a core fear and a core desire assigned to each Enneagram type. And when you can get to know that core fear and that core desire and how it's driving the thoughts and feelings and behaviors in your life, then you have some power to make incredible change. The first phase is self-awareness. The second phase is self-management. Now that we've identified how it's impacting us, personally, professionally, relationally, spiritually, what are the things that we want to key into and change? And so we work together for about six more weeks on what are those things we want to manage? And then the last phase of the Enneagram growth process is social awareness. And that's where we really start to dig into, okay, now that I understand my Enneagram type, how do I begin to understand the other eight types? And how can I adapt and adjust my communication, my conflict style, my affirmation style? Uh, as a leader, how do I take responsibility for adjusting my approach to the people around me? Awesome. Amazing. Carissa, we thank you so much for joining us and delving into some of the nine types. And I guess we got to figure out which type we are, you know, <laughs> at a time. But thank you so much again for joining us. And please follow Carissa on all social media platforms. And for all of your coaching needs, you can go to Carissa. Don't move. We'll be back. We're going to take a short break. So just go get some tea or something. And yeah, come back. <laughs>